completed so lina this time okay and age is 18 nice let's say blood urine okay every time it is sending the ajax request and rendering the dome welcome back in the last episode we have seen how to install laravel live wire and do some basic setups so we have ended with this result in the last episode and in this episode we will see how to pass variable to the uh, library component and we will see data binding and different input fields so let's get started to pass a variable we can do so let's say name h shown toy and to render that variable let's clear this this one and this one too let me put a uh, style here say margin left tandem and another adding tag to render that variable as it's a blade view so we can do name oops i think name is yeah you can see this is a value here let's say name name is john joy so that's simple it is to pass variable we can also do uh, declare a variable here dollar name equal to let's say ln this time oh it should be a string ln and compact this year compact name and yeah you can see this l or for laravel 7 we can declare or we can define a public property like this one say public color name age okay string Alan Alan cos name is Alan cos so yeah you can see so this was the first part of uh, the video uh, and let's jump into the ne next part the next part is data binding to bind data let's create an input field input type text if you are familiar with Vue.js, then you have heard about v model or bind something like this but in live wire we will simply do wire model equal to and the name of the variable that is name so let's see uh, let's quickly put some styling uh, let's say style uh, for s1 is okay <laughs> input field let's for the input inp to input height 30px with let's say 300px and font size let's say 22 uh, 24 px will be great i think yeah you can see that and we have already set the variable to the so let's keep this empty and you can see we have nothing here and as we type we, we can see it is reflecting here every time we type in uh, the network tab we can see our response here let's say Sali, okay selena you can see we have multiple request but if you type super fast then it will say only one request here yeah. let's clear this say okay we have we can see 
if you type very fast then it will send a few requests that is default debounce time is for livewire 500 millisecond to customize that debounce it we can say debounce dot the time that will be in my case a thousand millisecond so let's say clear this and type again yeah after one second it will send the request and in the request we have tokens uh, in header and uh, let's see the request yeah in the payload section here is a variable and name and the value is name and type is sync every time we do any changes it will send ajax request basically library functions under ajax request so you can see the whole payload request here in this section and also the response in the response section we have the dom so that whenever we do any changes then it will send the ajax request and in response it will re-render the component so that's the fundamental of now let's set up uh, some other input field quickly uh, i will pause the video and we'll be back after setting up and we will see the different input fields and how those fields will respond okay finally i have come up with some basic setup for different info field we have here the previous input field and then i have another input field say input type number name is age i have another field select type and we have three options here and the last thing is uh, we have a checkbox called status and i have some basic styling here and we have initialized everything here name is test status status default is false and let's see the page okay we have name here age which is a type number type okay you can see the changes and this is select type in default it will be null and that is we do not assign anything so let's try this alan okay age is 23 let's say urine test and testing or we can say completed let's clearly discuss something here in livewire uh, because the our component is with php extension so we can simply use php functions like for looping and for conditional purposes so that simple it is if you are a php developer then it is a great advantage for you now what about multiple select so let's see that quickly multiple this is multiple so the options will come in arrays initialize as array and uh, when it's come in array then we have to concatenate and implode the array so implode with comma and space and just close this now let's reload the page yeah you can see blurred if you just left click in the drop down option or select option it will send only one but if you hold the control button and then select it will select multiple so let's see in our network tab load after loading let's do selena this time okay and age is 18 nice let's say blood urine okay every time it is sending the ajax request and re-rendering the dome and test uh, you can also see the responses in like request is this in the payload and the response are here re-rendering the dome Uh, i forgot one more thing uh, let's quickly remind you we can also use the lazy function like lazy reload whatever we type it's not going to send any request you can see in the request tab 
there is no request yet that's just the first request i think yeah okay whenever we type anything in this section it will not send any request but if i click outside this input field then it will send the request you can see uh, that's the function of the lazy so that's all for today i hope you have got the basic idea how how variable can be passed in library component and how the data are binded uh, in next video we will see different methods like uh, we will see the mount method and uh, and try to refresh certain component further we will see parent and child components in laravel library thanks for watching keep supporting and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and for more videos like this you can subscribe to our channel